Our next performer, she's been here before. She's a very funny up and coming comic. How about a big one for Lola Lorber, everybody? <laughs> I'm Lola. Um, people always ask me, why did your parents name you Lola? Did they love damn Yankees? Were they really into Lolita? Were you conceived at the Copacabana? Her name Remember when and, and where, where I was conceived? conceived? Um, yes. Can you elaborate? No. Why not? I'd rather not. Can you please? It was in a bed. Why can't you just answer the fucking question? If you're not gonna tell me, I'm just gonna have to make it up. <laughs> This is my beautiful mother, and this is my beautiful father. Here they are meeting for the first time. They really like each other right off the bat. They've both been married once before, but this time they think that this might be special. So they have lots of sex, and they decide to, you know, travel around the world and eat delicious food and continue to have lots and lots of really great sex. Then they think, hmm, maybe we should get married. We get along pretty well. We have lots of good sex, and we eat a lot of yummy food and travel the world. And there's a trail of semen following us behind us everywhere we go. Maybe it's time we make a baby. Yeah, why not? Hello, Good morning, Lola. Good morning, Lola. How did you know you were ready to have a baby? I didn't. I didn't. Well, we were just kind of bored. You know, we wanted to have another person to play with. My dad, he likes to call me puppy, Lola puppy, my pup pup puppy. And now that I'm 18 and a woman and an adult, he thinks it's cool to call me his big dog. <laughs> I'd almost rather him call me his little bitch. Hey, little bitch, can you do the dishes tonight? When my parents had me, they really took advantage of me and put me to use right away because, you know, I was the third person in the house and I was, you know, ready to start helping out. Um, so I'd often have the responsibility of vacuuming or doing the dishes. And, um, you know, the second I could walk, my mom bought me a backpack, which was great because I could, you know, fill my backpack with my diapers and my bottles and my sippy cups and my snack packs and my ointment and... All that stuff, you know, that was my stuff, I was able to carry. And I was like two years old and, you know, being fucking responsible. Were, Were you, you prepared, prepared to, to have, have me? me? No, absolutely not. Yes, we were. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I was sure. wrong. Why like, didn't you have any other babies? Um, well, because, you know, I, I didn't want to share the attention that much. <laughs> I'm an only child, um, but I've always said that my parents are more like my siblings than real siblings, I feel, just because we're always fighting for each other's attention. And if I hang out with my mom too much, my dad gets jealous and is like, oh, what did you guys do? Why didn't you invite me? I wanted to see that movie and you guys saw it without me. Um, whenever I hang out with my dad for a long period of time, my mom's like, oh, was it fun? Was he was he cranky? Was he nice? Did, you had fun together? What, what did you do? Um, and so that's always just funny to think about, but I feel like I'm almost like their, their little doll and they've always dressed me up in things or for a while my dad liked to make me wear masks of his face and like, that was strange. How did you teach me about sex? By, uh, you know, being uh, open with you about sexuality and uh, encouraging you to have lots of sex with strangers and people you meet on the street. When I was, when I was little, I, um, my hormones started kicking in and I couldn't tell the difference between when I had to pee and when I was horny. Um, so my parents almost named me Lulu, but they thought it was a little too stripper-ish. And um, there was also already a Lulu in our family. My dad had a giant stuffed polar bear that he slept with in college. Um, 
because no one else would sleep with him then. And so we thought about it some more and we came across the name Lola. We didn't hear any of the songs, any of the plays, any of the books, any of the movies, any of the anything. We just thought, you know, Lola, Lola Lorber. That sounds nice. That sounds, that sounds like the name of our daughter. Um, and with Lola, you know, it's a little bit sexual. Um, she could, she could very well become a stripper um, if she wanted, if she wants. broadcast my weight to his business partners. Hey John, my fifth grade puppy just hit 100 LBS. <laughs> he also never apologizes when we get in fights. Instead of giving me an apology, he gives me Facebook notifications. He logs onto his Facebook, he pokes me, he likes my photos, and he writes on my wall. That is not an apology. <laughs> that is not an apology. <laughs> Were you prepared to have me? That is not an apology. Were you prepared to have me? Were you prepared to have me? That is not an apology. That is not an apology. That's all my time. Thank you. Lola Lorber, everybody.